Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the Comedy Store for a brand new episode of Kill Tony. Give it up for Tony Hinchcliffe. Yeah, that's right. It's a real live show in here. Wow, look at that. Look at the empty chairs. I like the energy in here tonight. It's a real eye-opening experience. Super Bowl. Hung we have the over. toughest, uh, toughest door guy in the game back there. Look at you, angry tonight. Arms crossed. Guam. One of the most unwelcoming door guys ever at the comedy store. How are you? What are you here for? Give me check. Let me check something. Check your ID. Uh, Jamie Vernon. No, Jamie Vernon. No, I think he's Brian Redband's here. Everybody. Hey, what's up, guys? Is. What's I up? love Brian Redband. Ryan J. E. Belt is here drawing tonight's episode. I'm excited about that. We're streaming live on you stream something backslash something. Death Squad dot live. Death Squad dot live. So here we go. Live audience. You ready to have some fun tonight or what? Here at Kill Tony right now. We're going to be at uh, Moon Tower in Austin, Texas, April 21st. That's yeah. a really big deal. 421 yeah. in Austin, Texas. Ryan, are you going to go to that? You going to be there for that? Yeah. He's going to try. Ryan J. E. Belt drew the uh, Kill Tony poster, th and uh, he draws every single episode of the show. Those prints are available at ryanjebelt.com. What do you think, Brian? Let's bring them up. Let's, Let's bring up tonight's guest. Yeah. Sometimes, I usually, I have two of the funniest comedians in the world on the show. This week, we have three of the funniest comedians in the world on the show. Put your hands together for Ralphie May, Brian Moses, and Joe DeRosa. <laughs> Uh, uh, the host of Comedy Central's Roast Battle, the newest one-hour special on Comedy Central, and a man with ten one-hour comedy specials, and a beast, the great Ralphie May, ladies and gentlemen, is here. Three of my favorite humans in the world. Yeah, you got it. Okay. Uh, no, you got mine's, mine's not. Oh, shit. Okay. Got to keep Where trying. I was supposed to come in first, check. and uh, I don't think it Josh? really matters, to be honest with you. All right. I was about to come in first, and my fucking foot fell asleep because I'm fat, and I was sitting on that ledge. <laughs> and it was like, danger, my foot fell asleep. And Mo's like, get me out of here. He's going to kill me. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ralphie's like foot I fell think. asleep, everybody. This is, that's when you know we're off to a good start. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's y'all's weed. I haven't had West Coast weed in forever. I know. It made me dumb dumb bill, man. It hits me every time. It makes my feet fall asleep. <laughs> it's too strong. It, it starts at the foot and goes up. It's powerful. <laughs> oh, good thing it's we got that tequila, though. Do you think it's too strong, Tony? Because you you, you're a pro. Yeah, I do. I love it. That's why I can only smoke so much. I take, like, baby hits just throughout the day and night. Yeah. <laughs> just little baby <laughs> hits here and there off of a joint. I did a uh, getting dug with high last week, and I almost had a fucking nervous breakdown. Yeah, well, the the thing, the re the, what I realized about that show is it's not even it's not even it's not even the pot on getting dug with high. It's the fact that there's no format to the show other than just smoking pot. He does. He asks you like pot questions. And yeah, stuff. but you're like inhaling a you know, bong at the time. It doesn't make sense. Somebody's got to be smoking the whole time. So I end yeah. up I end up having a half a panic attack the few times that I've done that. Yeah, show. I knew I was in trouble when I go. I was sweating harder than I've ever sweat in my life, and I go, "It's hot in here, right?" And everybody was like, "No." <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I, I I had to go sit in front of a fan. Then I evened out. I was cool, but. It was scary. No but no, Sati uh, I thought sativa is the light. W there's the heavy. I mean, the, it's the high one, and that's when you get on your head and you think everybody's trying to kill you. The the indica is the one that makes you want to like sit in a couch. That's when when you say you're stoned. That's what you feel like. But sativa, when you go, I'm high. It's like that's what it is. Sativa. Okay, so you want to. But if you ever get anxiety like <laughs> from weed, really bad, do push-ups or exercise, and it burns it off. It's gone. Really? So you have to go to the yeah. hospital. Somebody take me to the hospital. Right. Like people are fucking fucking up all over the country. There's You're right. Do push-ups or a clear carbonated beverage like a Sprite yeah, or ginger ale, and then you have to burp it up. Why a, a clear beverage? Um, because if it's a dark soda, then it tends to have a syrup in it that sort of sinks things more. So they just sort of, by keep the, keeping it simple so that people don't end up doing, I guess, cola or Dr. Okay. Pepper, which is surprisingly not a uh, remedy okay. of all the sodas. <laughs> 
You would think yeah, Dr. What Pepper the would be the healthy one, but no, it's actually pretty much just Sprite, ginger ale, like regular soda. I'm yeah. going to try this Indica when theory. When you have a panic attack and you <laughs> yeah, feel like you're having Indica's a heart attack. The Indica's good. The Indica's good. And I've been smoking weed longer than everybody up here. They have I, the I best names, too. The Indica. Oh, I have yeah, Indica at yeah. home called Yoda OG. That's the best. That's, yeah. that's a pretty strong one. I like God's Gift, and I like... Um, uh, what we used to call what's the, the kind? What's the kind called where uh, you smoke so much of it that you forgot that you were doing a live show? Oh. <laughs> anyway, I, uh, uh, I'm excited it's about called this. Called Tony's Blunt. I don't know. <laughs> I'm is. sorry. We we're just are, having a great conversation. We are I've, I've been stoned waiting to for the gullets, uh, obviously. The, the, the horse of truth. I already, I already laid down truth twice. No horse of truth. Okay, or, or Winnie. You are right. There was no horse of truth yet. Let's get into it though. Let's bring we up the band. It. You guys love uh, you guys love rock and roll or what? I have the coolest band in all of comedy. It's called the Kill Tony Band. It's Pat Reagan, <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins, and Joel Jimenez. Pat Reagan. Yeah. Oh my God. Hey, this is Red Band coming to you live from the world famous <laughs> no. comedy store for another edition no. of Kill Tony Volume no. Whatever. Give it up for the host of Kill Tony, Tony no. Hinchcliffe. Oh, no. <laughs> this no. is <laughs> Son of a bitch. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, you son of a bitch. <laughs> Fuck yeah, everybody. Fuck yeah. <laughs> hey, Josh Martin, get your ass up here. This mic isn't loud enough. You need to adjust it. <laughs> <laughs> you dumbass, adjust mine. Mine. That's the greatest thing ever. Oh my fucking god. Holy shit. Wow, where's Josh at? Did you is that your hoodie? That's amazing. Wow. He's got the key thing. <laughs> the tight pants is the key thing. <laughs> the annoying keychain hanging from his uh, waist. Except that doesn't make a ton of noise every step that he takes. Oh, like a so funny. kind Josh. <laughs> oh, this guy's out of control. Oh, uh, wow. Hello. Welcome, me and uh, Red Band and Josh Martin. How are you guys tonight? Feeling like the greatest comedian in the world. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I don't think I've ever said that. I've thought it a lot, but I don't think I've said it out loud. <laughs> no, you've said it. I've heard you say oh, it. Oh, you <laughs> son of a bitch. Was he, was, he, was he really saying it, or was he just quoting a Jesenic bit? Oh, <laughs> how dare you. How Ooh, dare where's you. Where's that horse? Where's that horse? Let's go. Come how on. dare you. John Panette said it better to oh. me uh, five years oh, ago. Oh, stop with the Panette. <laughs> Come on, stop. I'm just kidding. Uh, we're in the show, guys. I have a bucket full of comedians. How about that? You ready to start this shit or what? If you get pulled yeah. out of the bucket, you get 60 seconds uninterrupted. 60 seconds uninterrupted. All right. Uh, after that 60 seconds, you hear the sound of a kitty. That means wrap it up then or else you're going to bring out the angry West Hollywood bear. There you go. That means wrap it up. Don't be an idiot. Don't be a buffoon. I pulled the name out of the bucket. Put your hands together for Joan LaRosa, ladies and gentlemen. Joan LaRosa. What is your name? That's weird. I thought somebody wait, like wait, 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 dressed like me was going to Don't up. interrupt this part. Uh, Joan LaRosa, everybody. Put your, put your hands together for Joan. And um, I know I should be more grateful because I get a free place to live, but this cat is just so annoying. And I couldn't figure out what bothered me until finally I realized this cat acts exactly like me every time I try to com every time I convince a guy to spend the night. It's like, hey, thanks for dinner. Can we cuddle? I've just been so lonely for so long. It just feels so good to be held. Are you asleep? Are you asleep? Are you asleep? I'm gonna sit on your face! 
face! <sighs> Sorry about all the hair. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I'm Joan LaRosa. There you go, Joan LaRosa. <laughs> Not to be confused with Joe DeRosa. That is <laughs> odd, Actually, isn't it? We have one tweet with each other. I was just like, when are we going to talk about our names? Oh, I remember that. <laughs> I actually remember that. It's good to meet you finally. Yeah, nice to meet yeah, you. Yeah, hi. How you doing? Very funny. <laughs> that was awesome. Good work. Oh, this wow. is how it starts. Wow. With La Rosa, <laughs> met De Rosa. <laughs> Which last name do we keep? I don't know. De Rosa or La Rosa? I would totally hyphenate it. I would be La Rosa De Rosa. <laughs> oh, she's <laughs> into <Wow>. it. <laughs> That should be your stage name anyway. Oh, that'd be so cool. Drop Joan. Just be La Rosa to Rosa. La Rosa to Rosa. That'd be a pretty amazing name. That'd be sweet. I want to know, know what I thought about that performance. Yeah. <laughs> what did you think, Tom? Well. Oh, <laughs> this you. All I could think about was how long have you been wearing pillowcases as shirts? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank oh, you. now I can't do that one. <laughs> but Since seriously, how long have you been wearing pillowcases? Uh, <laughs> I bought this today at like 4 p.m. Why? Because I, because I had Bath and Beyond. I, <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, dude. Oh, you're so much funnier just, this way, Jeremiah. Are you kidding me? I, I, just, I worked a weekend yeah. with him. Funniest he's been ever. He's cold blooded, right? <laughs> funniest man <been> ever. <laughs> I just flew in today and I had no clean clothes, and then I was like, oh shit, let's go to Target, and I just ran around. <laughs> what everywhere. is that? Is there what no is your rationalization <laughs> of that crow? That's right flying there. in. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you didn't get that. I got that. Yeah. <laughs> Are you? Is that a cat scratch? I don't know what it is, actually. Whoa, we um, have an open wound. Yeah. Uh, Yikes. I, I was really drunk in Osaka and it just appeared. So Wait, I when was this? Uh, like three days ago. Whoa, you were in Osaka three days yeah, ago? Yeah, I flew in from Tokyo this morning. Wow, and you <laughs> have an open wound on your <laughs> arm. I do, I do, but I, I made it through immigration, so it's cool. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Them Japanese wow. ain't Muslim, that's what it is. I didn't realize oh, how bad it looks. That's oh, true. <laughs> <laughs> that's <laughs> true. That is true. I'm just yeah, hey, yeah. hey, what's your favorite category of porn? <laughs> force feeding. It, it's, it's it's force feeding. What is that true? Yeah, it's true. I mean, I I like watching skinny girls have to eat. Is that true? Yeah, that's hilarious. It's, it's totally good. true. It's <laughs> good. Wait, whoa, whoa, whoa! A you can make money turn. at that. <laughs> <laughs> By the way, open with that. Lead with that. Lead with that. Yeah. What do you mean? Like yeah. my favorite kind of porn is force feeding. Well, I have, yeah. I have Shoving that right as a down thing. the audience because I like start. watching skinny <laughs> bitches have to eat. <laughs> yeah, that'll yeah. kill. Yeah, yeah, that'll kill. Nice. Seriously, nice. Okay, is I that think. an actual thing that you really it's watch? Or are you trying? Is that so like a thing that you stumble upon when you're looking through random Japanese stuff? You know. Wow, why is everything so Japanese with you? I don't know. I actually have been living in China, so I don't know why it's so Japanese right Wait, now. But what? <laughs> what do you what do you do? Who are, are you? Are you a comedian? Yeah, or yeah, a yeah. Spot? <laughs> That's Japanese music. <laughs> that is very Japanese. <laughs> Some of that good old Japanese <laughs> jam band music. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. No, I'm a comedian. Yeah. What do you do for work? Um I I well for day job work I, I do <laughs> online stuff for a language learning company called Italki. Shameless plug. Ooh, yeah. Italki. Uh <laughs> <laughs> There's some more of the classic it Japanese sound, no, music. No, no, it's more like our founder named it in 2008 when everything was called I something. <laughs> I talky. Yeah, we teach every language online. You teach some shitty English. <laughs> <laughs> no, we teach every language. I don't actually teach. I I just do like HR stuff online. <laughs> what what if, if they could? What could if they if they hadn't gone to their class? They just gone to regular class. They they'd be speaking the king's English. <laughs> and then I talky over here, fuck them <laughs> up. Yeah. And that's why we make fun of a, a, a Rusi Ru, okay? You know? Right. Fucking Actually, my name is super hard for them to pronounce because they're like Rolosa. <laughs> Mine's Ralph. I mean, good Lord. Jesus. <laughs> Try that one. Ralph. 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 Yeah, I just did two shows. I did a show in Tokyo and in Osaka. 
And then um, I was in Bangkok before that for the si Stand Up Siam comedy competition. And then before that, Shanghai Comedy Club for a year. Woo! <laughs> Wow. I'm surprised Red Shit, Band didn't do so a cool. uh, Bangkok <laughs> joke there at any point. Yeah, there's, yeah, guys, guys, Bangkok jokes. No. The, uh, <laughs> it's I not worth my time. <laughs> 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 I literally can't think of anything to say. I'm sitting here. My I brain is empty right now. What? I'm like, just. I'm, I'm not saying that to be insulting. I'm literally sitting here, like, say something. I can't think of a fucking thing <laughs> to say okay. right now. You're, it seemed like it was very acted out. Like you were acting, or you you were you had a script, and you, when you performed it, it felt more like acting than well, it did. Do you really Red band. That's called that's called writing. Yeah. <laughs> no, but you. There we go. Now but, I'm in. We're getting off to a good. Uh, yeah. There you go. <laughs> But Truth even, with, even with writing, you can make it come across so it sounds right. natural, and it yeah. didn't seem natural. Okay. Do you really have a cat? No, no, I was just cat sitting, so I kind of oh, hate cat cats. Sitting. She uh, said that though. Uh, your your setup is too. Uh, to get clinical about it, your setup is too long uh -huh. for the punch, and you can say a lot more with the, uh, with the spoken word than you can with the written word, uh -huh. and you you write out your shit. All right, take it and write, and then leave two lines in between it, and just take out every unnecessary word. Uh huh. And that joke is great. Cool. cool. Okay, but don't do the snuggle thing because it makes you sound pathetic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Right? But I'm gonna. Oh, you're asleep. That's, I'm gonna get on your face. That's <laughs> the part of the joke that you thought <laughs> was made her sound bad. Cat sitting. Yeah. It wasn't the face rape while the man's sleeping. No, that's the, strong. That's a the, strong woman move right there. <laughs> the, uh, no it, face it, rape. <laughs> so you know, if you had to guess how you cut your arm in Osaka, Japan, how would you guess? <laughs> um, I was. What types of people were you drinking with? Well, we tried to do the bicycle thing where, like, we? one person, me and another comedian there the at Daggers. The bicycle thing? Yeah, the bicycle thing where I was. An gonna, Asian guy? The bicycle. No, he's, Asian no he's British. He runs the comedy club there in, in Osaka. British. And, um,. And we were doing like British? the Stranger Things way to ride a bike, where the girl stands on the pegs on the back and like he bikes it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, I'm, I think I fell off many times. So. Oh, you think you? I fell think off I did. Many times. Yeah, it was just really difficult. Like it was. I don't know how they do that. They were just all cruising around, like two, three, four people on a bicycle, and I'm just like. Oh, in Asia. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's what they do. A lot of people over there. In yeah, Asia. just like tons of people. <laughs> How long were you over there for? Um, I lived. In, I've lived in Asia for two years. I lived in Sh uh, China for two years. So what are you doing? Just visiting? Are you uh, no, I just moved to America today. Oh, <laughs> that's welcome. Insane. Yeah, so I feel like I, I'm like so excited because like I used to listen to the show on my Ooh. on my metro commute. You used like, to listen to this from Japan? No, in in sh in Shanghai, in Shanghai. Oh. I just like this was my metro commute like oh, all the so time. Cool. Every listening to this show. Yeah, that's yeah. That's crazy. And now and I'm that's like cool. here. That's awesome. She deserves a round of applause for this <laughs> because because that's like true hunger for comedy when you fly from fucking Asia to America and you still go out and do an open mic that night. Like seriously, that's commitment. <laughs> yeah. That's great. Yeah. You got yeah. pulled yeah. out of the bucket. That first. is gonna Little make you a success. Yeah. Jump, jump. Best of luck. Yeah, thanks seriously. for thanks for pulling me. That's gonna make you a success. Thank you. That's fucking outlast them all. <laughs> Work harder than everybody else and fucking outlast them all. <laughs> You'll fucking kill. That's great. I'm. Pr that's. You're and you already have luck yeah. on your side. You got pulled out of the bucket thanks first tonight. Me Congratulations, out of the Joan Larosa, yeah. everybody. Thanks, guys. She's on Twitter at Joan Larosa, not to be confused with Joe Derosa. <laughs> Can I plug thanks my? So yeah. Plug it right now. I want to. I'm sorry to plug, but my my uh, what your your amazing Comedy Central special that yeah. airs tomorrow well, and it, available on the well, internet Saturday. tomorrow. It, it, it already aired, but it it comes out on the internet tomorrow for download. You yes. let me down. Fuck yeah, on the internet uh, tomorrow. Tomorrow for download. Tonight at midnight, actually. But yeah. You, you know, I hope you enjoy it. It was filmed in a cemetery. It's fucking cool, man. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I'll That's the it. first time you ever said something nice you to me. You let me down. <laughs> you let me down. You it, let me down. Yeah. ComedyCentral.com. Everybody else's fault but my own. You know, it's also available 24-7 streaming on Netflix. My one-hour <laughs> special, One Shot. Well, I mean, I don't ever really, I don't ever really plug that. I mean. Because <laughs> yeah, everybody's seen it already. You. Yeah, I don't know. Listen to Pat Reagan's album, Bad Chad. Yeah. Uh, and Ribbons. watch Roast Battle on Comedy Central. And check out the <laughs> tons of amazing things. that. <laughs> I just noticed Rodney his watch. Based, he has the perfect watch. Oh, my yeah. God. It's total Josh Martin right that there. That fucking blew my mind. 
I feel like jo- I, I don't know anything about Joan still except that she likes force feeding porn, and that shouldn't be a thing. The only thing that's interesting about her. Yeah, yeah it shouldn't be. I mean. Like Joan, there's got to be something else about well, that's you. A, that, I mean, well, that's I mean, that's a real big all one. All over the world. Like, like all over the world. Yeah, but then she's talking about like being like a cat, and it's just like, I mean, yeah, you like to cuddle. Everyone likes to cuddle. Fucking, but you like force feeding porn. Lead with that. That is an opener. That is a right. Fucking, yeah, that's. Then that's we know, where, hey, then we know right where we're going, Joan. You know what I mean? Okay, next time. Yeah. That's where you go, baby. I pulled another name out of the bucket. Sixty seconds uninterrupted goes to Darren Davis. Yeah. <laughs> I grew up in L.A., and I kept getting my accomplishments overshadowed by one man, and that was Kobe Bryant. You know, he was real great. He made two numbers great, 8 and 24. And my birthday happens to be August 24th, and this year, L.A. decided to make my birthday Kobe Bryant Day. I couldn't even get a text back from my mama. She kept on saying, happy Kobe Day, all on the Internet, but I couldn't get a happy birthday. You know, but I like being in L.A., getting the tacos, the best. Go to Tito's Tacos, then I go to Venice Beach, play some basketball. I want to shoot some shots, so I give my tacos to my homie. Say, yo, just hold my tacos real quick. And y'all won't believe who get in front of us. Chris Tucker walk on the basketball courts. My homie wants to act like a groupie. He's like, oh, Tucker, yo, you the man. And he drops my tacos on the Venice Beach courts. And I'm like, wait, homie, Chris Tucker's funny, but he ain't dropping nigga tacos on the ground funny. <laughs> And that's my time. That's all I got. There you go. Darren Davis. Exactly 60 For real. Oh, For real on Perfect that one. Yeah. He, ain't, he ain't dropped my tacos on the ground funny. <laughs> Fuck Tucker. Big fan okay. of Darren Davis. Thank that was you. funny. That was hilarious. That was good, man. You, you could chop a little time off the top and get into that Kobe thing faster, but the jokes are really funny, man. Yeah. yeah. I thought you were going to say, like, yeah, so, you know, because always like, t- texting me happy birthday. I just went to Colorado and alleged you raped a woman, like something like that. I but was, you I, didn't go there, and I, I was think, proud of you you didn't go there. I thought it was going to be a Kobe rape joke, and I was like, I was kind of disappointed, but I was like, no, it's just smart writing. Good job, Darren. A lot Thank of people you. don't know Darren uh, came up starting stand up comedy in a prison and uh, would always <laughs> make all the guys at the prison laugh and was in prison for years. And uh, then got out and came here. Is this true? Is that that's right, right, Darren? <laughs> yeah, I was in Pelican Bay for a little bit. What'd you what? do? Huh? What'd you do? Slap Kobe. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was gonna say by assault. The, the way, uh, I was gonna say assault. I, I I have a felonious bunch of friends, and so I'm I'm saying assault. Just a little fun fact, yeah, by the yeah, way. Right? I was saying all that, and I was little expecting him to say no, and I was going to get a big laugh uh, off of it. I, I just so happened to be that I was right. Uh, oh, you I didn't know that? that? I did not right. know that. No, great. Not right. I'm also, I, I'm, I'm, it was I'm all also set up for a joke so that when he said no, I was just going to, oh, well, I just I would assumed say that. He's very funny, and I'm like, <laughs> I, like, I think we should get off asking you what you did, because... You just going like this quietly <laughs> is telling me you don't really want to talk about it. Yeah. yeah so no, uh, no. it's your business. But c- congrats, dude. You're a funny fucking dude. Uh, yeah. Hard, sur- sur- uh, hard situations make you funny. So yeah, I guess man. there's nothing. Hey, to- ain't no comedian made from silk. We're all cut yeah. from tater cloth. <laughs> Means all of us had shit going crazy in our lives, and that's why we're funny. And, dude, welcome to the party. You're really fucking funny, dude. Thank you, man. I really appreciate that. No Thank you. I can't believe that I guess that uh, you were in prison as a comedian. That's a that's 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 amazing hilarious. Clip. Are you really in prison? I love this. We had, Did we you had know that? Do- no, you're really in prison? <laughs> oh, I didn't know that. No, it's not true. <laughs> Thank you. God Thank you. Damn like, it. I, like, I was oh, it's not true? No. 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 <laughs> God damn it. Breaking my fucking head. Good Lord. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> Little known fact about that's Darren. fucked up, man. My heart went out to you. I don't put my heart out to people like that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> guys get an improv and acting. Fuck, you're. I was threat, like, man. people can't change. <laughs> there is there is hope in these turbulent times. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm the guy that let you down. <laughs> what do you do for work? Way, available Darren? online yeah. uh, for <laughs> download later on. Yes, just started tonight. Cool. Hey, what do you do, Darren? Do you work for the Trump administration? No, nah. fucking liar. No, I don't. I work for my school now. I'm a, I do mandating, like I do research for mandating. Yeah, <laughs> that's what, what the they fuck? call it. Yeah, <laughs> the way Folks. you said it, I don't think you're saying that right. Yeah, I, I don't, don't know. think there's supposed to be a space between man and dating. I know, like <laughs> you're mandating. <laughs> they um, they hardly. You have to say it quicker, bro. Yeah, no, I'm trying. <laughs> 
<laughs> Sounds like you're dating a bunch of dudes. No, not at all. Also busy I'm starring in the film Moonlight. Yes. <laughs> oh, Jesus. Topical. Christ. I like that one. That's how it worked. <laughs> he said mandating, right? Yes, I did. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're What, is this too smart for this crowd, you peasants? You no. dummies? That was a great joke. Listen up, oh, you, you son tards, of a bitch. You son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> He's got your I shoes love, on, too. I love that the impression of you is an Andy Dick impression. Oh. <laughs> yes. love, it's really funny. He's oh. doing Andy Dick. <laughs> That's true. Son of a bitch. There's a really piling on tonight. Oh man, if somebody brings up my divorce and not seeing my kids, we're f- it's fucking it's a great night, man. Trust me. That's all we got left. This is so fucking f- I am really impressed. Really good jokes, man. Thank you. Where, where are you originally from? Oh, I was born in New Orleans, but I was raised in the valley. Wow. Yeah. That's real different than Pelican Bay. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's that's the like Pelican Bay would be like, ooh, vacation. Right. right. New Orleans. Ee. Wait, what are you talking about? New Orleans. No, is the stabby. valley. I yeah. mean, the yeah, valley. Oh, yeah. The valley, too, is stabby as fuck. Stabby? Yeah. The it's weather's always stabby? partly stabby. The valley? In California? Yeah. Well, you where know, I get like, my weed, okay, yeah. it's a little stabby, okay? <laughs> stabby? Stabby? With a, a B? Stabby, yeah. yeah. Stabby. Yeah, a little, yeah. You know, like, stabby. Danny Trejo's from the valley. Oh well, then it must be a tough yeah, place. <laughs> the, the guy, the guy that has a taco and donut shop now, it's it sounds like the yeah. land of crooks down there. <laughs> <laughs> he Just was kidding. in jail though. Huh? Yeah, he was really in jail. No, he was really yeah, in jail. Yeah, like he used to come out to the schools and like do like talks to like the students and tell us like not to go to jail and shit. You like still, that. Uh, you still live with your parents? Yeah, I do. Thanks, Danny Trey. You kept me out of jail. Yeah, he, he did. <laughs> you live with your mom and your dad? Yes, both. Uh, how old are you again? 26. 26. Yeah. How's that going? Did they remind you that they don't want you there at all? Oh, they, like, uh, they're going to move out soon, so like, I'm going to like... They're going to move out? Yeah. <laughs> you walked your parents? <laughs> Man, what, what's hilarious is is that he's a, they're about to be living with him. That's how old he is. Like, it, like in two more years, he don't live with his parents. They live with him. Right, yes. right. That's correct. Right. That's I what love. you got to start saying. Yeah, you guys start saying that. Dude. Yeah, I, I think I'm going to start tonight. So, <laughs> so they have a new place and you're taking it over? Uh, I don't think so. I think they're going to like just like get rid of this property and then go. Um, my dad's retiring and he's going to go to back to New Orleans. Back to New Orleans. Yeah. And you're, you're, is your mom going with him? Yeah. Hell right. Yeah. But you're going to stay in that place. Is Danny Trejo coming? No, he's not. <laughs> <laughs> Okie dokie, that's all the time we have for Darren. <laughs> uh, next name in the bucket. <laughs> You're out of control. <laughs> but he's right. There he goes. Darren Davis. He's Darren, like nice NBC work. City. Thank you, man. I appreciate it. I feel like all I know about Darren is that he likes force-feeding porn. I feel like I should know more about Darren right now. Wow. Josh. Josh. Uh, we know this guy. This is the first guy I ever met here at the comedy store. He literally said tonight, that, and I made a point to tell him it's a fucking bucket. He complained because he hasn't gotten up in so long. He made a point to literally complain to me about it. And there he goes. He just got randomly pulled out of the bucket. Here he is, Eddie Whitehead Jr. <laughs> Hello. Hello. I'm old. I usually don't tell people how old I am. I usually just give them a phrase. Uh, I might not look like your granddad, but I will fuck your grandma. <laughs> Real hard. <laughs> General consensus is grandma likes to take it up the butt. Because uh, you know grandma's freaky. Uh, a lot of people think I look like Samuel Jackson. A lot of people think I sound like Samuel Jackson. But if I ask this man what's in his wallet right now, you better run. 
I don't need no fucking Capital One cards. <laughs> I went to a new beach this time last year. I have to do this because we have time. Um, <laughs> that's it. Thank you for listening. There you go. Eddie Whitehead. Hey, thank you, Tony. Thank you, Tony, very Keep much. Keep it going for Samuel L. Hackson, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> I have called him. Tony, I really like being on your show. Um, okay, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you very much, Eddie. I'm over here, you <laughs> bastard. Oh, oh. How are you? I'm, Thanks I'm for great, ironing man. your jacket before. Ah, uh... <laughs> uh, man, this is my look. I'm Indi Indiana Nigga Jones. Wow. I'm like Indiana Orlando Jones. Uh, I was going to say. Or Gary Indiana oh, Jones. Oh, <laughs> Great. Very good. Great. Very good. Gary yeah, Indiana. Yeah, it works. It, it took you 10 years, kid. <laughs> Good. What? Jesus. I, I thought you were fucking great, man. Hey, man, I was in um, um Port oh, Huron. Jeez, here we go. I was in Port Huron. You was doing a show, and they had an audition for, and I almost made to cut the uh, open I'm sorry, for you. buddy. I'm sorry that you didn't. You said it. I, I you're know. It was two years ago. It was. <laughs> you were funnier than the guy that did. I was did. there for that, and it was it was quite cool. But I, I nice to see you again. Man, really funny, man. And I'm glad you got the fuck out of Port Huron, <laughs> Michigan. Okay. Those, those are some goofy fucking white people, dude. I'm telling you. There's a black guy in that place. The car broke down. <laughs> <laughs> you think I'm bullshitting, Moses? You ain't never been. I believe okay. you. <laughs> I believe everything you tell Go. people. You don't know. Port Huron is cracking up right now. Yeah, yeah right. So they are, yeah. Now, Eddie, and, you, and mething up, too. <laughs> you play the harmonica at an inter near an intersection that I used to live near. Well, uh, I still do. Yeah. I wake up in the alley every morning. Tomorrow I will wake up in the alley. Probably wet. And how long? How long have you been uh, <laughs> s like sleeping out on the streets? On the streets, um, like I said, I uh, I travel. So um, every now and then I go. Well, yeah, we know. We know you don't have a place to stay. Right. So you're constantly <laughs> traveling. I mean, technically, you're so literally you know, well, on it's, the it's, road it's more than any other comedian I know. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> hey, the first time I seen Moses in San Francisco, he said, "What the fuck you doing here?" That's the truth, by the way. What the <laughs> fuck were you what doing there? What the fuck? There? He says, hey, "I know you're sleeping in the streets. How you get here?" <laughs> this is what I do, crazy, man. Eddie. This is what I do. Um, it's kind of cool. Uh, the thing is, if you want to see Tony Hinchcliffe, oh my God, no! Don't when he was it. 20 years old no, and he stop. showed up and he did like this, Eddie. I said, "What do you want to do in life? I want to be a comic." Eddie, look Eddie. at hey, Eddie. look at the Eddie. nature of stand up Eddie. by Eddie, Eddie. Wayne Jr. Yes. What are you doing? I'm doing a commercial. Eddie, what are you doing? Hey, settle, I, I, settle down. I got 100 followers. I'm trying to get. Uh, I've seen 200. the documentary. It is mesmerizing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Out of control. <laughs> I don't understand what's happening and right does, now. Does anything, does anything interesting <laughs> ever happen out there? Like when you're actually, you know, asking for change? Anybody ever give you anything um, weird like through the car Diane, window? Diane the Keaton. Because he Di works the stoplights, oh, really? if you're wondering. Like Diane Keaton stopped uh, two days ago. Yeah. And she, she held this credit card out. And I says, hey, what's going on here? And she says, it's a credit card. It's a gift card for $20. And I says, oh, <laughs> Did you drop your stick? Yeah, that was amazing. Hey, no, my really stick came up. Um, oh, oh, thank you, thank you, sir. I didn't know it was a uh, you said on afterwards. <laughs> like magic. Uh, no, no, but it was Diane Keaton, and she says, uh, I said, oh, I really love your work. And she says, do you really? Do you really, really? And I said, I really, really. And she's like, oh. And I went, man, this, and she was 70 years old, but I would have jumped in her car in a minute. Uh, I bet you would have. Oh, yes. the, the urge to car and for you people out there, don't know. probably <laughs> comes very naturally to you. <laughs> have you. Have you ever used the, that <laughs> stick as a weapon? Um, sexually? No, I mean, uh, well, that also, that's a good one. Which, which <laughs> end is it? <laughs> it's the one with the rubber. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I you always Jesus. use the rubber first. I, I, um, I love you. You're you one of my that. favorite guys on Walking Dead. I <laughs> what was the gift card to? That, uh, do you remember? It's at Ralph's. Any, it, as a matter of fact, it was to a multiple chain of grocery stores. It was like that's you cool. can go where you want to. Wow. Yeah, it was cool. And she said goodbye. Where'd you end up going, Ralph's? Ralph's. Yeah. And I bought some chicken and some um, vodka. Wow, chicken and vodka. <laughs> I'm sure it's you a great thing. Hey, I live on a corner, knew. man. I wake you didn't up have to alley. tell us you bought chicken. We already yeah. know it. 
I mean, hey, Ralph on. has good Why chicken. Not? That's not me. Right, it's not an hey, advertisement. Hey. It's a fact. Oh, Brian. Oh, Brian. <laughs> Son of a bitch. How many times have I told you to stop playing that racist music? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Sound just like it. Mm-hmm. I am the voiceover. Mm-hmm. All right, Eddie. <laughs> <laughs> So, I mean, anything else going on? You get laid lately? Uh, you, you ever take a girl back to her yeah. place? <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I, I, I got a, this I, uh, hey. one one box of fish and see. It says Maytag on it. Which box is yours? Uh, it's the one that says bad motherfucker on it. Oh! <laughs> nice. DeRosa. DeRosa. Just waiting in the pocket till it comes me to down. me. There's going to be a court order from Samuel Jackson for you stop doing him doing me. You know what I'm <laughs> Do you, uh, so ha- are you able to get laid? Like, laid yes, like I that? get laid all the time. It's kind of crazy. All it's, the time. Especially when it rains. Is that true? How does that work that because way? Because I know... Because uh, you're cleaner, uh, right? Tell the truth. You don't... <laughs> Jesus Christ. But no, right. I am the cleaner. Okay. Ooh. okay. Anyway, Eddie, no, 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 focus on the no, no. I, 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 I got access to a, a high-rise building, and I go into the stairwell. What? Yes. And you know what? This is the truth. The last three times I had sex with a woman I didn't know, we was getting kind of hot, and, and every one of them said the same thing. The first one was kind of surprising. The second one was kind of like, and then the third one I knew was going to happen. What they say? The, these they, news pa- this, these no, newspapers the are itchy. The first thing they. <laughs> That could have been the second is question. Is that a backstage? No, we're rest? in a wait. We're in a place where nobody's gonna come, and they look at me like this and say, "All of them say the same thing, exact same words." Are you gonna kill me? <laughs> and I say no, and then they have sex with me, so I think it's submission. Is that right? Submission. Wow. Yeah, because they we're getting, do, in, we're getting, getting I never real see him again. I never see him again. When they ask you this question, do you have a knife up to their throat? <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm a six foot four, very tall and muscular do, do um, n- black man when do, I'm naked. Do you never see them again, or do they? No, never, never see, never see him. I never, <laughs> <laughs> wow, I never see him again. It's kind of crazy at this point in life. This guy puts. The I do want to get married and soda. have children. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Brian, we get it. <laughs> um, <laughs> you ever fart in a bathtub and watch the bubbles come up? <laughs> oh, Brian. All right, Eddie. Uh, we've we've you've been on this show a ton. We all yeah, know you. There you, you go. Thank you very much. Anything else for Eddie, guys? Funny shit, Eddie. Great, very funny, thank man. You buddies, really funny buddies, shit. Yeah, absolutely. Nice be oh, careful, absolutely. Eddie. Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, be careful. Woo! Where he is? Dropping the mic. Eddie Whitehead Jr. He's on Twitter at number one Eddie Whitehead. Yeah, that's <laughs> section one <laughs> on Owl Media. I feel like all I know about Eddie is that he, he should, likes force feeding porn. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that joke's done. All right. Wow, we've seen this guy a bunch on the show as well. Very funny young man. Put your hands together for Dan Nola. <laughs> What's happening? I uh, just flew in from a lesbian wedding, and boy, are my moms tired. (laughs) I got that new iPhone app that shows you where all the sex offenders around you live, but it doesn't let you swipe right or send them winks or anything. Uh, I'm starting a new new band. The sound that we're going for is going to be like a cross between Simon and Garfunkel, like just those two guys. I ordered a Vietnamese prostitute and she showed up at my house three hours early. She wanted to love me wrong time. I always confuse the words optimist and optometrist. I asked a guy to check on my glasses. He said he thought they were half full. Found out recently that penguins mate for life. I wish somebody had told me that before I fucked all those penguins. They will not leave me alone. (laughs) Dan Nolan coming in, laying it down. 60 seconds. Great work. Oh, it's so hard. I'll speak with you again. Dan 
Nolan <laughs> was coming that? in. Great work. It. That's great, a great work, set, dude. Dan. Thanks, guys. Do you write for TV? Uh, I just got to write for the Rose Piles, my first paid uh, consulting gig on the. Yeah. That's great. Very special. By the way, battle. very special. That's shout awesome. Out. Somewhere in this room, where the fuck is he? Is Coach T here? Oh, I saw there him. He I saw him. Put your hands together for the great Coach T. Roast battle. Yeah. The the man behind the everything of sound on your uh, on my favorite show, Roast Battle. That's Should great. Be your favorite show too. Roast Battle Two just came out. ComedyCentral.com. Hosted, executive yeah. produced. So Hi. And literally worked to the grind. I, yeah, I just feel like it's hard for me to talk about this. Like I know Darren, I know Eddie, I know Dan. It's yeah. like it's hard for me to even talk because I know their stories. Like Laura, we could talk about all day, but the rest of these stories, like you guys are fucking vets, man. Yeah. At open mic. Uh, yeah, I don't know why I'm still here. <laughs> <laughs> No, you should write. You, I mean, I'm assuming you have aspirations, too, but you should you should be writing for like late night and stuff like that. Yeah, yeah. I don't know what to do. I have no idea how to go about any okay. of that shit. Can you um, get somebody to send you a packet when they're accepting yeah. submissions? I could guarantee you, you'll get a job if not on the first try, the second try. I mean, you yeah. know how to write yeah. tight jokes. Yeah, I got the packet and, and for John you, Oliver's show, but I was like, I don't, don't want to do that. I no, you should see, write for like are something. Are you fucking shitting me, kid? I, I just have no interest. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, what do you, what do you I'd like to write for like it's Jimmy Dan, Kimmel right? or something. Dan, yeah, something. Hi, yeah. I'm Ralphie. Ralphie. Okay, I don't mean to be a dick, but <laughs> if you get the fucking chance to work for John fucking Oliver, yeah. you fucking yeah. suck the guy that told you about the, his job stick <laughs> and then work your butt off to get that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. shit. <laughs> <laughs> He's so yeah. spot on. <laughs> it's He's the so fucking truth. <laughs> but I, 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 uh, I, uh, you, you, you're really fucking good, dude. I mean, I, I saw the, cause just because I'm an old fucking comic, I, I saw the optometrist stroke coming. All right, but the other stuff I didn't see coming at all. And for somebody who's quote unquote new. For me not to see their jokes in 60 seconds coming, mm. pretty fucking impressive, dude. And I'm telling you, you should be writing. And, and man, I yeah. know guys that used to just get early sets here, early sets, and then they fucking, and they had no money, okay? And they just, they go, they go from doorman to that, and now they're writing, and they got a fucking house in Beverly Hills. That's no bullshit, dude. You do what you're doing, and these fucking talentless fucks will buy everything you write. <laughs> You're great. There I you agree. Go. I agree with Ravi, except I don't. I disagree that I don't think you made a bad decision if you don't think you're politically minded. Right. Yeah, you should write for something for that you understand because yeah. you don't want to get a job and then be not be able to deliver. Right. Yeah. I'm not smart enough for that show. It was like write no, something about the Australian Parliament. About yeah. Everything. Yeah. What you do is you write jokes about everything. Right. Maybe because not and then everybody's once you're in be the, For example, once he's in the room with all the John Oliver jam band. He can contribute that specific. It's like a Trump administration. Like it's, he doesn't seem like the right hire. Right here, it's different. Strength, but here's but the thing. Her, here's the thing. Here's the thing. It's different if you're brought in as we need a guy that does this, and you're a little different. That's where we want to hire you. Be, what you don't want to do is work tirelessly for three weeks to write ten political jokes, and then you get a job. They go, these are great, and then you're at work the first day, and they go, go write ten jokes right now, and then you can't do. It. That's not good. That's a oh, bad man. position to be in. All my writing you need to gigs, write. You I didn't do know shit about it's anything. It's interesting. The jokes are political, but I feel like the punchlines sort of aren't, if that makes sense, on shows like that. Yeah, right? yeah. Oh, like the setup is eclectic, right. but it's still a dick joke. Yeah, exactly. You know? But it's you like don't think like he's better. Waka, waka, waka. You don't think he'd be better for like a Kimmel or something like that? Fuck like, yeah. yeah. That's who I really yeah. wanted. That's Jimmy Kimmel's like number one. That's that's the packet Dude, I want. Dude, he's, I don't know where he's to get the one who's doing a great fucking monologue. Yeah. I mean, that's the one. That's well, not out of reach, dude. His, no, that's uh, yeah. not out of yeah. reach. His, you go over there and you ask for fucking Sal, and you go, hey, I want to write jokes for free. I want to come in here. I want to learn how to write a packet. And you know what? Every one of those guys, I know them all. They're all fucking human beings. They're all real people. They're not these Hollywood fucking assholes. They're real. They'll shake your hand, and they'll go, you want to learn? We're not going to pay you a fucking dime, mm. and we treat you like a bitch? Great. <laughs> Say it just like that. Too. Ralphie, yeah. now, <laughs> that, 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 that's exactly what they'll now, do. Now a bunch of the unfunny people are just going to show up at Jimmy that's Kimmel tomorrow <laughs> while, <laughs> while Dan sleeps yeah, yeah, and yeah. celebrating. No, no. <laughs> write down a bunch it's, of one of those jokes, those one-liners jokes yeah. like that. Ralphie and, May told me to suck your dick and get to work. <laughs> <laughs> Like all, like, I think you like it too much. I think, you, know, I think like, you like this character. Too. Like all great <laughs> Hollywood fairy tales, it starts with a man named Sal. Yeah. <laughs> Dan, you've been on the show five, six, seven times, yeah. always constantly getting funny. Or anything interesting going on in your uh, like real life, your personal uh, life? I quit or? my job. I, um, uh, I'm You're just doing fucking comedy now for Yeah, long? yeah. 
Well, wow. I mean, yeah, I'm not making any money or anything, but yeah. How are you? I'm How living you on uh, Frank Castillo's couch. Roast Whoa, Battle Champion Frank Roast Castillo. Battle All right. yeah. That's fucking amazing. Castillo. Congratulations. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> hey, at least he's got a couch. Yeah. A when, when, when I fucking, when they told Joe Diaz's house, he lived on my couch. Sure. You know, I mean, that's fucking for real. Joe Diaz is fucking movie stars, and they towed his fucking house. <laughs> All right, so if you're sleeping on a couch, you're doing better than a lot of comics. Yeah. Yeah. Do, and that should show you how far you can go to where you can be. Yeah. Okay? Yeah. You, you're fucking two years. Bob or somebody over at fucking uh, Bill Maher will fucking. Yeah. Two years, you'll be on an air mattress for sure. <laughs> <laughs> Way past the futon. Way past the futon. Two years, Sal's going to be coming to you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let me so. suck your dick. Oh, totally. Thanks. <laughs> well, Dan, you, you absolutely killed it. Let's keep moving on. All right, cool. On. Great, Great work, work buddy. Thank Great you. Work. There he goes, Dan Nolan. At Dan Nolan Comedy. It's a uh, bunch, of, uh, bunch of the old all-stars here. This looks like a new name. Put your hands together for Matt Pinstein. What's up, guys? It's good. it's good to be here. How you feeling tonight? I can tell that I'm not the only single dude. Just check out the gallery. Uh, but I have spent a lot of time on, t- on uh, what's that site? Tinder? <laughs> Tinder, that's right. It's a lot like buying a car on Craigslist, in case you don't know. You get five photos and a brief description. It's up to you to make contact with the seller. Um, <clears throat> but when you show up, you realize all the photos were taken like five years ago, and they didn't account for the scratches and the dings and the dents in the exterior let alone to mention the entire interior mess. There's daddy jokes hanging from the rear view. There's a couple ex-boyfriends in the passenger seat. There's a gluten allergy in the trunk. That's pretty much it. There you go. I, I forgot a couple taglines, but there it is. There you go, Matt Pinstein. <laughs> Fuck yeah. Yeah. How long you been doing stand-up, Matt? This is like my sixth show. Six show. Fuck yeah. I can New Year's totally resolution. New Year's resolution. I can yeah. totally yeah, tell. The biggest laugh you got was when you skipped like a CD in the very beginning of your set. Word. It sounded, it felt like it was part of it and I wanted more. That's how it's going to go. Accidental skipping. Oh, hello. Good, good, good to be here. Uh, <laughs> well, you can tell uh, I'm nervous. What then, can I say? Then as each second went on, I could hear the fear in your voice growing uh, from... Uh, well, not getting laughs. It's, uh, you sounded defeated in your voice, which I mean is common amongst people who are, you know, just starting out. I hear that. Yeah. What do you uh, What do you do for work? What fire department do you work? At? <laughs> exactly. Um, no, not putting out fires, but I was a uh, volcano god most recently out in uh, Hawaii. I live on the oh, Big Island. Wow. <laughs> and uh, you want to do comedy? Yeah. You're who retarded. Who is telling the <laughs> truth tonight? Right. That's what no, it's saying. true. Is that true? Is it true? Yeah, I lived on the Big Island for eight years. And you did what? Wait, wait, uh, I was a volcano god, a tour guide on for oh the Kilauea guy. volcano. I think you said a volcano god. No. That's what, what I thought you said. You said. No, 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 god. Like, oh, here we go with the volcano humor. He's Pele over here. Yep. Okay. G-U-I-D. Sorry, I shouldn't have yelled. Have it's all good. Lava laughs with this one. <laughs> oh, yes. <laughs> So what, what, <laughs> what got you in? Funny, you What's that? What got you in? Like what? What made it be yeah, like? I don't want to fucking. I don't want to give people tours of fucking death anymore. I want to fucking come and die on stage now. Because it's like three hundred miles of driving and ten hours of talking. I like that. And you know, I I stutter through most of it, but I got through. Yeah. You do yeah. have a stutter. That's a thing that you have. I think it's just anxiety induced. Yeah. It's yeah. fucking terrifying what you're doing, dude. I've been in the exact position you're in many Thanks. times. Many, many, many times. Yeah. Yeah. Tell you hung out by volcanoes? Yeah. Yeah. I'm referring to the volcano guy. <laughs> yeah. No. Seriously, man. I've been in your position many times. It's fucking terrifying. So you're, you're just going to get used. When I, used to, when I first started, I used to drink five whiskeys before I went on stage, and I wouldn't be even buzzed. That's how hard my adrenaline was going. I would just be Fuck. normal. Lord. So like it's it's just gonna take it just takes time, dude. And the more you get comfortable, the more you'll be able to ease into yeah, things. You and generally go ahead. Oh, I was gonna say, and you're Jewish, so you're you're fine. Yeah. Surely <laughs> you're gonna be fine. You just be I just gotta keep this. working at it, man. It's something I want to pursue. Generally so like a even guy? even if I bomb hey, tonight, dude, like dude, that's yeah. trust me, you'll learn more from bombing than you ever will from fucking killing every show. Yeah. Guys who kill every show, they get that way because they get a joke that fucking works, and they never. 
fucking do something else. All right? They do the ones that only kill. The guys who got balls, take the shot. You took the fucking shot. And, dude, remember, you fuck about. Thanks, with man. fucking <laughs> volcanoes. True. You fuck with volcanoes. An audience of fucking these mutts don't mean shit. You fuck with nature, bro. Okay? You understand me? Solid. This thanks, ain't man. nothing, Jack. <laughs> right, right, yeah, that's one of those volcano seals, if you're wondering. <laughs> it, it, I love it's Robbie's like giving a like beautiful words of inspiration, just turns and shits on the audience for no yeah. reason. Well, this is who he's afraid back. of. <laughs> this, is, this is who he's afraid of. A steady cam guy. A guy who's wearing a scarf inside. Okay? I mean, come on. <laughs> <laughs> you know? That's great, though. Man, this beautiful long, girl. How long, have you been, how long have you been in Los Angeles? <laughs> <laughs> fucking open uh, I with came here on Friday, on. and I, I have a flight at 1030. I'm going back to Boston to see family. You're going to uh, Boston. Boston. That's yeah. Great scene Boston out there. Is a fucking phenomenal scene yeah. for comedy. There you go. Hey, I'm going to be there two there? weeks do before I fl- No, I live in Hawaii. Okay. So okay. I'm going to be there for two weeks. If you want to do I comedy, think that's probably a good call if, if, if this is my pursuit. Comedy, yeah. You go to fucking Boston. All right? Nobody's nobody there's there's Augie T is the only the only the only, the only, the only person to make it in the Hawaii. comedy business out of Hawaii is the guy that makes Gabriel Iglesias' his shirts. Oh uh, shit. Uh, yeah, it's not a very shit. good scene over there. Listen, it. I'm going to be It's growing though. There there's some good comics in, in I'm Hawaii. I'm going to be in Boston at laughs Uh-oh. this month. So look it up. Come down and hang out. All right. Yeah, I love that, man. That just come really down cool. and hang out. Tell them you're there with me. Give them my name, whatever. Come, I'm seriously just don't just get on stage. Hang buy, around. Buy a ticket. But just but hold on. But hold on. This is quick. No, no, no. But here's the thing. Here's the thing. This is what. The, look, dude. I was a white dude from the suburbs. I started in an, an all black room. All right. It, you talk about fucking nerves. What got me comfortable was going down and hanging around at the club the and blacks. just being Hanging around, around oh. just just being in the environment of a comedy <laughs> club so it's like you know you have to just do nice. that come hang out with me when you're there yeah. word yeah, yeah that sounds great yeah yeah cool. just hanging out with comics just get you used to it so there's not any big deal and and a you, minute you is like it feels presence. rushed I mean, on you, you got rushed but don't worry about it take a breath um, and you're also god awful. You have to work on that as well. Yeah, Other yeah. than I'll all the new stuff right, and the Jeff? nervous stuff, you also, you know. D- d- but it's six time <laughs> god awful. Six time is not totally. god awful. I feel you, man. Judge, it's just off his personality and it's everything. You know what I mean? This isn't times. easy. It's not built for everyone. <laughs> Do you record your sets? That's a shitty thing to not say. Not yet. Oh, shit. I, I, Jesus. <laughs> I highly recommend <laughs> recording your Don't sets. Pump up. Not only that, check out rubmaps.com. Do you get nervous other times in life, too? You no, get, I'm pretty you good. You get nervous like on dates and shit? You single? Yeah. I mean, that's why I'm on the Tinder app, for sure. How's the tin- is the Tinder app work for you at all? Have you really My legs fell date? asleep or today. That makes three of us, right? <laughs> what does what that you mean? Out there I ten? mean, like, that's how we opened the show. You said oh. your legs were asleep, what? Tony. Oh, yeah. Oh, Call th- back. Call Nobody. Learning. I don't know. Too much. Too much. Yeah, As too much. I said, too much time has passed. Awful. Take it from me, the number one host of the number one live podcast in the world, Kel Tony. That's why. Hey, hey, do me a favor. If, if you want to learn more about comedy, I recommend every comic. Mm-hmm. I, I spent an hour, I spent like two hours talking here one time. You Google my name, Ralphie May, comedy store, and stand up boot camp, and it'll tell you everything that you want to know about comedy. Word. I mean, it's it's really it's I've never all those dumb books. Judy Carter, g- that's a fucking scam. You have a boot Fuck. camp, Ralphie? I I did it for fr- they wanted to pay me, and I I bought lunch for all the people there. I'm not gonna take money from other comics for fucking helping them out when I tell them jokes for right there. Or tell them there you go. You know what? Can I can I say can I say something that's bugging me right now? Every time Ralphie says an inspirational thing, you clap. Nobody clapped when I invited him into my green room in Boston. That is my space before the show. That is my sanctum, and I invited this man into it. Let's just say Joe versus the Volcano didn't need a sequel. <laughs> That's really good. It is. It's a really I, I, good one, me. I, 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 I which snidey, cunty remark was uh-huh. made by uh-huh. who? Uh-huh. <laughs> Matt Pinstein. The Pinsteins, huh? Is there a big family you have? Yeah, I'm the what? oldest of four. My brother's here. Really? Oh. What do you do? I mean, what does he do? He, uh... He actually got me this coat today. He runs an online clothing company. <laughs> wow, he got you that coat. Well, he got he runs an online clothing company called Moose Limited. Oh, wow. There you go. You got to plug in. I bet he ain't brother. got no fat guy shit, does he? 
I don't fuck know. I you. don't know. It depends. <laughs> moose Limited, the largest fucking deer. He can dress a moose, man. You can't fucking put a so fat sweet, guy though. shirt together, you Thanks. dicks. What size is that? It's large. Can I get that? Fuck yeah, I just got it today. Let me get that. All right. Is it, this is a mod, this is a God, modern stop, stick dude. up, dude. Don't take what the shit. fuck is wrong? I said, no with shit, man. This is all I got. Okay, okay. This is all I got all, right first now. First of all, tell don't this. Don't give it's it cool. to the black hey, yo, guy. Yo, if you want to trade me that hoodie, stop. I'll tra- I'll do it. I would, but it's H and M. I can't fuck with that. Oh, right. that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. <laughs> they don't like black folks, H and M. No, it's just like I, they probably want me back in after this, so I got to keep this. Yeah, I mean, you want to hang on to that three dollars seventy five cent fucking hoodie that you bought at H and M? God damn it! I know. Why can't I land a fucking joke tonight? Are you kidding me? You because you had a special on Saturday that they should times. check out. H&M is really cheap, everybody. It's not. It's like Everyone yeah, can bucks. tell that you want it too much, Joe. <laughs> oh! <laughs> Tony's killing, by the way. You see? It's hard, to, it's hard to see where the cunty <laughs> remarks are coming from. I know. Right? It is. It is. It is. <laughs> Like tennis in it. It's just one place. It's just you're, right you're right. You're, you are right. I'm, I'm not even gonna. I'm, you're, I'm agreeing with you. Thank you. Take it from me, Writers Guild. Uh, <laughs> I'll say this, Matt. That was great improv because you actually went with it. You didn't like. You didn't climb up. You like. You were like. Yeah, I'll give you my uh, fucking. Shut coat. up, Brian. Come on. God damn it! You tried to steal the kid's jacket. Yes. Stop trying to act like you were doing a fucking Robin oh, Williams exercise yeah. with All him. Right, you're Matt, right. I tried Matt, to rob you, the, Matt. Uh, what's the craziest thing uh, you ever gotten arrested? <laughs> yeah, just on a DUI like years ago. Driving in Hawaii? No, that was back at college. Oh. UMass. Ooh, UMass. Oh, fuck yeah. Zoomass. You, you got to graduate. You got to get a DUI if you want to get your diploma. That's pretty much it. It's, <laughs> yeah. It's like price of admission. It's drinking everywhere. I never really got an answer out of you. Have you gone on a Tinder date yet? Yeah, I've been on a few times. <laughs> well, there you go. This is uh, audio from one of them. Um, yeah, I don't, I don't know, man. It's like the girls out there seem like they're into it kind of rough. Have you noticed this? Yeah, Girls that, that you're with? That's why Brian's playing a fly sound effect. Uh, yeah, that. No, I don't know. Rough. I, let's dig, man. Hey, Tell like, us more. What's yeah. rough about the girls that you've dated? Pew, pew, I don't know. Pew, pew. What's the first? I don't know. Thing? You guys are into the UFC, right? Oh, new bit. I mean, uh, like this is a totally is. redefined you like muscle UFC, girls. idea you of mean like rear the, naked the place choke. Where I go ringside with Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you, you love may that see shit. me in the audience going, oh my God, yes, it's me. I am here. Yeah. <laughs> it's true. If you look right above the mat, right where the fence starts, you just see this. Every I've seen it. Only, only for the best fights, though. I mean. <laughs> what about the UFC? I don't know, man. Some of the dating out there, it's like ground and pound. It's very similar to uh, that. You went a long way to get there. <laughs> wow. Holy shit. <laughs> Have you ever been married? Never. Never married. Breaking news. <laughs> Matt doesn't know how to tell a joke. Oh, uh, stop <laughs> it. Stop. stop it. Yeah, Joe just invited this, this guy in this green got, room. This is tough. He's in a fucking tough spot I right know. now. I feel you, man. It's ball. cool. It's no, all right. It's you fine. Gotta I'm cool build him up a little bit. Like, give the no, guy no, no, no. Fucking tear me down, man. This is a good learning experience. No, this way. No, he goes on stage and I'm not like hovering over his shoulder. He's not going to stutter. It's all right, man. I've crushed before. Like, this is a lot of pressure. It's being tough up here. Is that when you come to L.A. or to New York and you see the cream of the crop, Mm-hmm. You realize there's really not that much difference, okay? You just got to work hard and time and experience. You'll do it. You'll be fine, man. If you want to do it, you can do it. Uh, everybody's going to clap you. for Ralphie it. again. Thanks. Yeah, everybody I'm clap. Sorry. Everybody sorry. fucking clap for Ralphie. <laughs> but I'm sorry. D- don't clap for me, folks. I don't have my Comedy Central special going to be available online at midnight tonight oh. like Mr. Joe DeRosa does. <laughs> I did not let you down. I Breaking did not let news, you down. Joe DeRosa's... Desperation is potent. <laughs> wow. Tony's a lord. You son of a bitch, Red Band. I'm going to chew your ass off outside <laughs> for doing that to me. This is my show. How dare you come after me with a wah wah sound have effect, I you ever son said of a bitch? Gonna, when have I ever said <laughs> this, is, this is Chew Tony, out Brian before. This is Tony Hinchcliffe's internal monologue. Now. Oh! <laughs> well, in that case, you're pretty much spot on. Wow, Matt Pinstein. Matt, you ever string, you ever string a, a <laughs> sploss along your butthole and divide your poops into two? <laughs> Good question. Uh, legit right, question. Legit question. <laughs> the answer now. Rhetorical question. There you go. 
All right, Matt. Well, you know, <laughs> nice to meet you, man. Hey, thanks. That's you guys, fun. too. Right Good on. Work, thanks, buddy. For yeah, thanks for the advice, guys. Right on. Thank you. Go get him, Matt. I'd imagine being on stage alone is going to be less nerve-wracking than what you just went through. I think we just helped a little boy with his stutter here tonight. That's my theory. You want you want your stutter fixed? Come on down. Josh Martin. Josh, that's way too low. It's okay. <laughs> Josh, I'm having uh, trouble fixing the mic stand. Could you maybe fix it? I'm a god. N money is nothing to me. Wow. That is a really good impression. That's amazing. Oh, someone nobody here knows. Yeah. Well, the listeners know. I know, right? Uh, so I pulled another name out of the bucket, and this is another uh, Kill Tony. <laughs> there he is. Totally clips of the Josh. I pulled another name out of the bucket. This is an absolute Kill Tony legend. You know him. You love him. Put your hands together for Tam Fam, everybody. <laughs> hey, uh, uh, 2016 was bad, but 1994 was a lot worse. Uh, that was the year when Congress passed what is called the Margaret Cho Law, which... <laughs> requires that all Asian comics do an impression of their parents. Uh, I still haven't done an impression of my parents yet. I still need a lot more practice following black people around liquor stores. My parents don't work at a liquor store. They're just very rude. I, I shouldn't call my dad rude. Uh, um, ab abusive is a better word. Uh, uh, I, I haven't talked to him in years, um, but uh, when he dies, my family still wants me to help pay for his cremation. Uh, honestly, I would rather cremate him myself to save money, but it's illegal to burn garbage. <laughs> wow. Nailing it. Sam fam. Yeah. You speak such perfect English, and then at one part there, right towards the very end, you said, my family wants me. <laughs> it was just, if you just barely hit it. Uh, one of our favorite things about Tam Fam, guys, is that uh, um, sometimes he can uh, t talk. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know how to describe it without ruining it. No, but you get it. Tam Fam, uh, how's life? Life. Oh, okie dokie. That wouldn't. That wouldn't. That oh. wouldn't be right there. He's that was crazy. Amazing. That Anyways. wouldn't be there. That would be after the big thing. After the big laugh happens, that's when that would happen. <laughs> well, <laughs> could you cut off that sound effect? Why? It really annoys me. <laughs> it doesn't me. make sense. Man, I can, can I just talk? That, I was really fucking impressed. Those jokes were. Yeah. You've really been impressed funny. with everyone tonight, Ralphie. <laughs> <laughs> Not everybody. <laughs> Not everybody mock Tony. Not everybody. My name is Tam Pam, if you are reading my whips correctly. <laughs> that was funny. Yeah. <laughs> this is one of our favorite things. Anytime Tam Pam's on, he has the ability to uh, channel Jeremiah something, reverse something. It's that silly and stupid. <laughs> so, Tam Fam, what have you been up to recently that's different than uh, all the other times you've been on the show? Well... <laughs> I have been getting it in a lot lately. You know, sometime twice a day. <laughs> sometime four times a week. <laughs> but, you know, this has been the shortest dry spell I ever had. Wow, you are a sheen Tam Fam. You always hook up with just Asian girls? Oh, no, 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 no. <laughs> I also like Oriental girls. <laughs> Jeremiah Watkins. Jeremiah. 
Jeremiah motherfucker Walker. Wow. Okay, real Tam fam in real life. Uh, anything crazy happening in uh, real life? Anything different? You're still just grinding every night, performing every night, killing. Everything's good? Uh, sure. You sing? <laughs> there you go. Some of that celebratory Japanese music. Uh, oh, yeah, you know, same old, same old. Yeah, Don't really have I, much of a life. Yeah. You're a nice guy, and you are like a, you got a nice face. <laughs> when, when you do that garbage joke at the end, or burning garbage, or whatever... It's fucking it, it, shorten it, make it make it sweeter. Like uh, it, it's five hundred dollar fine for littering, you know. It, make it some don't, don't fucking go. And then I burn them. You know what I mean? It creeped me out a little bit. You know, <laughs> like they can't laugh if they're breathing in. You know. I think I disagree with you on this one, Ralphie. <laughs> <laughs> wow, jeez, Tim fam, I can't believe you're disagreeing with a legend. What are your thoughts? Well. I am speaking from my life, and me saying that my father is human garbage comes from a true, deep, dark place. <laughs> so therefore, speaking the truth, and we all know, truth is comedy. <laughs> wow, Tamfam, it sounds like you have some real issues with your father. What did he I do know, to you? Right? What, what did he do to you when, uh, when you were a little boy? What did your dad do to you? He decided to have me conceive me inside my mother. He raised me for years. <laughs> he raised you inside of your mother. <laughs> this is very Doesn't creepy. Have to keep you warm? It almost sounds like you're improvising this answer on the spot. No, 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 no. <laughs> Stay with me, Tony Hinchcliffe. <laughs> my yeah. English is sometimes bad. What I meant to say is, my father raised me outside of the womb, and he told me, you will never be funny. You will never be comedian. And I say, I'll show you that. I'll show you. <laughs> God, it's amazingly, incredibly dumb and amazing. <laughs> oh, God. Well, that's cool. Okay, uh, just yeah. another piece of advice. Fucking spend some time writing jokes. God damn, y'all are hilarious. If y'all put any of this on stage, holy shit. It's fucking funny as balls. I've, do you do this? Does he do this all the fucking time? The two of them? Put your shares on stage. The two of them? That way it's on stage. You mean the two of them, right? Yeah. I totally agree with you. I think it's the. F I've said it many times. I've never seen 27 years of comedy. I've never seen that. There's something him, so funny. Oh, no, no. I, 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 yeah. I, 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 and this is the most, probably the most mellow version. Hey, can we, can we do it backwards? Can you do Jeremiah once? Oh, that's a really good, uh, that's a really good question. I bet, I bet Jeremiah uh, can't keep up. Hey, uh, uh, I'm excited. Why, Tam Fam, why don't you sit down over there, sit with, over there. Over there and uh, switch spots with Jeremiah. <laughs> You're in it now, Tam Fam. You're in the war zone like a true Vietnamese little boy. Oh uh, so, Jeremiah, um, you've been, uh, you know, killing it lately. Kill Tony, the goddamn comedy jam, roast battles, the wave. Uh, what's, uh, what's next on the platter for Jeremiah, a guy who's part of so many things? What are you looking forward to next? I just... <laughs> 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 well... <sighs> You have to try to sound white. Yeah. <laughs> you can uh, say anything. This, this, uh... Oh, Jeremiah, did somebody hit you in the head with an aluminum bat today? Jer Jeremiah, why don't you explain to me your favorite kind of porn? Missionary. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> That could not have been any creepier. No! He's blowing a dude on stage. The heavy breathing that happened right before he said missionary. I feel, uh, I feel like Tam Pam's head was just about to explode there. For Jeremiah, a is, it, is it just straight miss missionary? Do you like black, white? Like, is there, a, you know, like, there has to be more than just missionary. As long as there's love. Oh. Wow. Oh. 
<laughs> What's the craziest thing you've ever put your penis inside of, Jeremiah? <laughs> An extremely sane woman. <laughs> All right, there you go. <laughs> Jeremiah. Just remember, it was Brian's idea to make them switch, everybody. <laughs> Jer- Jeremiah, do, you, do that funny Tony Hinchcliffe impression you do. Right? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you know. <laughs> what, what the fuck? <laughs> There's no way Tam Fam can compete with what I write. <laughs> wow. I, I'm going to get a voice transplant tomorrow. <laughs> All right. Um, there you go. There goes uh, Tam Fam. Tam Martin, Fam. Very good work. Tony Hinchcliffe. Hey, do we, All right. Do we, do we have an update on Allie? Because I, I, I Allie saw, is yeah. in New York City. She's coming back yeah. uh, at some point soon. Um, but uh, we're going to go to the bucket one more time. But before we do, we have one more Versi triplet left. If you remember correctly, we split the Versi triplets in, up into do independent sets for the first time. A group of triplets oh, no that way. normally goes on stage together. After giving them multiple spots, we decided why not we why don't we try an experiment where they go up alone and try and each one tries a minute. This is the what third is installment, and uh, which what's the first name on this one? Sean. Sean. Uh, Sorry, pe- the funnier one. Well, we're gonna find out. Put your hands together for this third installment of the Versi Triplet Separate. This is Sean Versi, everybody. <laughs> the great Versi experiment. <laughs> I play rugby on the weekends. Um, I started playing in college. A classmate came up to me and said, hey, you look athletic and too small for any other sport. You want to play? And I said, sure. Anything I need to know? He said, yeah. After we pound each other for 80 minutes, we take the other team out. We go for drinks and sing songs. Rugby is like a gay karaoke team. It's like a, a tackle glee club. The winner gets to sing the village people. But there were some cool things about rugby. You know, I got cauliflower ear. It's delicious. Oh, yeah. goes, thank you. It goes great with my broccoli neck. That's all I got. Thanks. Tony. Yeah. Tony. Tony. Moses thought it was so great. He's about to pee the urinal. Hey, Moses, can I come? Tony. The only way that could be any worse is if there was two more of them. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Chorus of truth. Uh, it's about time a joke hit, what? Joe. Nice job. Whoa! Oh! I know. I know, man. I know. I'm not, I'm not, in, it. I'm not in it tonight. I'm just, you know. Well, neither, neither am I. That's What's crazy ah, is that you've had you an extra two weeks mm. of preparation, but I think the first one did the best. He did. Yeah, I think that. So he's the brainchild, and you two mooch off of him. <laughs> kind of like you do your parents. All right, Brian, relax. We do. Uh, we yeah. do. <laughs> Brian's like, yeah. own up to it! And he hates these triplets. Jesus I don't know if he Christ. got like, molested by triplets when he was a kid or something, but he's just... Ever since they first came on the show, he's just over here just, oh, fuck these motherfuckers. Like under no, his breath. I, <laughs> I fucking hate these fucking triplets. <laughs> Not true. Do you feel very out of your comfort zone without having the two other uh, brothers up here? Uh, it's definitely a change for me. Yeah, I mean, clearly. This is Where do you normally stand with the other two? Are you in the middle? I, I'm the middle child, yeah. Really? Yeah, and, and you, I and stand you, in the middle. But the other guy should be in the wow. middle, right? Well, no, Which if you're one? the middle child, I feel like you should be in the middle during your uh, on-set thing. Yeah, I do. I stand in the middle. You, know, yeah. you really can't use that as an excuse because oh, you no. stood next to me the whole time you were up here. <laughs> I mean, and you're like, like both, you're like both my brothers combined. So. Way fucking funnier, though. Yeah, that's Way true. fucking that's funnier. True. <laughs> that's true. That's Way true. fucking funnier. Apples don't fall far. Now, how long All right, the best of up? those three. Shut is the fuck is up. Is this your first <laughs> time doing it on your own? Huh? Is this your first time ever doing it on your own? Uh, alone, this is probably my fifth time. But you and your two brothers have been performing... About a year together, yeah. About a year continuously. Mm. 
And uh, recently we saw you guys released a Crest commercial that you tripped. Colgate. 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 Wow. And it was hilarious. You guys had, were like meatheads even when you were like. <laughs> Eight years old. Yeah. It yeah. Was very impressive. Thank you. Did you see that, Jeremiah? Yeah. So it was terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. All right. Well. Terrifying with the toothpaste. What do you terrifying. think sets you apart from your brothers? Your identical DNA. Um. I, I'd say a lot more reserved than them. They're pretty. Alex is pretty outspoken, and Mitchell's more artsy and wants to be an ind- individual. But like, so other w- other than reserved, anything else? Any other ways you would describe yourself as separate from? No, we're pretty similar. I mean, I, I wouldn't. I, I'm sorry. I yeah, I know Mitchell's laughing back there. Tell chicks, there's chicks in here. My dick tastes better. Okay. But I haven't Do tasted something. it. <laughs> Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, Brian's playing the Colgate commercial. Ooh, the Russian version. I like the American version more. That, that's Wait, the Russian it? version. Why was it German? Oh, it was Russian. Russian. Right. Sorry, there's. Russians. They, they hacked to kill Tony. Yeah. Now, I the mean, here's the thing. This is the positive thing I want to say is yeah. there's nothing wrong with. If if you, the three of you vibe and that's how it works, there's nothing. There's no rule saying you have to be good separately. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't mean. Yeah, no, no. I don't mean that to be shitty. I'm saying like if you if that's what works for you, the best, gr- mm. then great. That you don't have to pursue did a you, solo thing. Did you too. learn anything tonight from doing it on your own? Uh, get up a lot more, obviously. Yeah. Um, I, I think we're gonna allot a solo day each week for all of us just to. Step okay, back and right, do it. Right. I think that's healthy stop, just to get away. Stop they also fucking being together. team brother, okay? Mm. Fucking stop it, okay? Because yeah. one of you is not going to have enough talent to fucking carry it. Then you're going to drag w- the other two down. Then you're all quick comedy. You fucking make money on commercials. You go down to that place in Brentwood and you fucking audition your ass off, mm. all right? If you want to fucking do this... Okay, I want to tell you, I've never heard of fucking triplets comedy, okay? That's number one, yeah. okay? Number two, get fucking funny yeah. separately and then bring it together because I've seen it fall apart way too many fucking times. <laughs> Thank there you. Yeah, the horse of truth. Um, and it, like Ralphie said, you know, don't let the weakest one weigh you down. So you mm. quit, let your brothers do it, and uh, it's going to be perfect. There he goes. Uh, what is Good it? work, Sean. Sorry, Sean Percy. <laughs> All right, one quick turbo minute, and we're done with this motherfucking thing. Kayla Rosenberg. Be free. Keeps going around. Keeps going with the attitude, but I ain't fucked up. I can't be fucked around. I'm fucked around. I can't be held down. I just. Hi. <laughs> hey. Uh... <laughs> You ever get assaulted so much you start to wonder if you're on some hilarious Japanese prank show? I just hope we're getting good ratings at this point. Because <laughs> it feels like overkill. Ah. Because they all look the same, you know? Not Japanese people, rapists. Come on, <laughs> they all have the same eyes. Uh, I got cat called the other day. It was a good one. Uh, he called me Come Raggedy Ann. <laughs> it was a good one. Uh, but I can't imagine a time where I walk away from a cat call like a better person. Like, oh, I needed to hear that, but maybe that's on me. And I haven't taken it on the right way, you know? Because it's usually something like, dad ass. But what if I was just like, you know what? You're right. This ass. And who knows? Maybe I could leave this town and get an education and Papa was wrong. This ass is going to be a chef. (laughs) <laughs> okay, that's the thing. Kayla Rosenberg. <laughs> Very funny. Can, can I just say something? When you say dad ass, it sounds like you're saying dad ass. Dad ass? Yeah. Well, I mean. Dad. I guess. Dad. Yeah. Are you? I mean, I take after are you my saying, dad. Uh, are you saying dad ass or are you saying Your dad's dad got a pretty ass? good ass, then. I, I guess it's like a. Yeah. Uh, she has a freckled vagina. <laughs> Wow, jeez, Brian, you couldn't even hold back there for a moment. Only slightly more aggressive than usual. Um, you do have an interesting look. I didn't know they made a uh, That's my boy, librarian. Brian Redman. Oh, there you go. All right. Yeah, pull that out. I thought you were funny. Thanks. I like your style. Thanks. 
Nice work. Thanks. Yeah. Thanks. Sometimes you just got to say a nice thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Thanks a lot. There you go. Are you just Are you just saying that because she looks like you if you let yourself go? <laughs> Nothing? Wow, okie dokie. I gotta uh, say. No, she's in much better shape than I am. Yeah, come on, man. Yeah. But we I do kind of like, look I alike. Like, I guess like, You've like changed. It's kind of weird, yeah. You've changed. I know, I have changed. You've let me down. I've let you, but. I, I thought that you were gonna go more towards, like, liking the cat calls or, like, compliment me on something I really worked hard on. Okay. And, like, if they're uh, ass and you're mad because you saw an, an a Michelle Obama fucking arms is trying to, what you're trying to get. I don't know. Like maybe go. there's a misdirection. Uh, Taylor Rosenberg, there she goes. I didn't know there's a misdirection. No, okay, okay, I'm telling you, there's no way for me to tell you. There she goes, Taylor Rosenberg. She's very funny. Uh, he, we're about to take a picture human. all together. Ryan Chaibo, look what he drew, everybody. While you sat there in your lazy asses, he drew tonight's episode. Uh, awesome. That's awesome. Joe DeRosa's new special is out now on ComedyCentral.com. Tomorrow night, if you're watching the live stream, it's out. But if you're listening to the podcast, it's out. Yeah. And my, you uh, my album no, my album and special hit, the internet for download tomorrow, iTunes, all that stuff. Brian Moses yeah. is the host of Roast Battle, ladies and gentlemen, which is available we'll on ComedyCentral.com. The coolest live show in the world. Great. Every single Tuesday at Second midnight at the Comedy Store. Don't hey, if it. any of you guys go to Vegas, I've got a residency at Harris. Please come see the show. Yes. All right, I'll make you laugh. May Thanks. is in Vegas, 2017. Jeremiah Watkins, go ahead. Reach out to my best friend, Wait, we're gonna take a Jeremiah picture. Watkins, at Jeremiah's Stand Up on social media, and go to Stand Up on the Spot February 21st with Joe Rogan, Eric Andre, Neil Brennan, Jeremiah Watkins, and more. There you go. Pat Reagan has a new album out. Uh, that's called uh, Bad Chat. Bad Chat, that's right. That's available on SoundCloud, iTunes, a bunch of crazy shit. Uh, mostly sorry is Joel Jimenez on Twitter. Follow him on social media. Amazing, amazing, amazing job tonight, Josh. Josh Martin Comics on Twitter. There you go, live audience. Thank you so much. Have a good night. See you.